hello friends welcome to this video so in this video we will look at another syntax highlighting library inside javascript which is called as monaco editor monaco editor is an all-in-one uh, code editor that you can integrate inside browser where you can allow the user to actually enter programming inside any language so let me have an example right here if i paste this html code right here you will see it will be highlighting with syntax highlighting here the user can select their language you can have more languages as well so it's a html language you will now see it's all in one uh, code editor with line numbers you can see highlighting it each and every line and uh, the highlighting has different colors for comments for different colors of html tags so it's uh, something like a code editor so you can integrate so various themes are supported by Monaco editor this is a light theme this is actually the dark theme something like VS code you can see that this is actually the theme the VS code uses then we have the high contrast theme you can see so depending upon which theme that you want Dracula you can select it from the drop down and you can see that various themes are supported out of the box using Monaco editor and uh, github dark so there are a lot more themes as well but I am just showing you the famous ones and you can have this so I will now show you how to integrate this so the library that I am talking about is Monaco editor if you just write this on Google this is the Monaco editor open source browser based code editor that you can integrate if you are developing any sort of uh, application related to coding you can integrate this Monaco editor right in the browser itself so you will be using the CDN right here this is the it's basically developed by Microsoft Monaco editor it is called as and uh, it has basically all the intelligence features as well you can validation so if you want to basically you can see all these intelligence features will also be there so as you write the code basically you will have suggestions so if you change this to javascript so now if you write some language if you write function you will actually see you will get intelligence features as well so as you declare so you will basically see so you will get all these suggestions as you write your code so you can just change themes as well so now to integrate this uh, I will actually show you from scratch so we will have this editor so first of all you do need to include the CDN for Monaco editor so let me just close the body here so right here inside your uh, are using bootstrap CSS so we have included the CDN for bootstrap and also for Monaco editor it offers the base JavaScript CDN that we have pasted right here so all the source code that I am using in this video is given in the description of this video so you can get all these CDNs in the description so now to actually write the actual interface we will have basically the div tag which will have the container class of bootstrap and inside this we will have an head heading which is monaco editor syntax highlighter and we'll giving a class to it margin top 4 and then we will actually have the form group class of bootstrap and here we will allow the user to actually select the language so you simply say to the user that you need to select your language so we will have different choices here 
so we will have the select list and we will give it an id to it so that we can target in javascript so you can simply say language select and we will have different options right here first option will be for javascript and similarly we will have more options it supports uh, all the big languages so all the basic i will just include this php this one html all the major languages are supported so you can even try their docs and just see the languages that it supports so i just included the languages if you just refresh now you will see this drop down you do need to include uh, a class here so that it looks good form control class or bootstrap so it will look something like this so now we have this after this we will allow the user another form group uh, and here we will allow the user to simply select the number of themes so here they can select uh, themes another we will have a select tag right here once again we will be giving an id to it of uh, form select sorry theme select so that we can target in javascript so we will have different options here for different themes supported so vs light which is a light theme which will be supported so we will have different options right here so i will copy this so this will be the dark theme so i will change it here for dark theme then we will have hc black theme so these are all the themes which it supports uh, high contrast then we have the dracula theme uh then we have solarized similarly we have the dark theme of this as well and the last one last two themes get up the dark you can go to their website and you can even find out more themes as well but i am just listing out the popular ones so this is the monocoil theme so now we have uh, two drop downs also give it a bootstrap class or form control and lastly after doing this we will have the div we will give it an id to it of editor so here in this div tag we will be loading the actual code editor with antelisens and line numbers so just give it an id here editor we will target this using javascript so right here we will actually write the javascript code in a different file script.js so just create a javascript file so right at the very top we need to require the basic library of uh, we will use it required config and it takes an object and here we need to provide the paths object so it you can load the library like in this fashion so here you need to provide the cdn of from cloudflare and the slash lips and slash monaco editor and this is really important the version number that you are loading so just make sure that you are writing the same version number if you don't want to get error and uh, vs
so after loading this uh, we can basically require the editor.main file and then it takes this callback function and inside this we will actually create the editor instance so for creating the editor instance we will create uh, call monaco and it contains this editor.create function and here you need to provide the reference in which you need to load the editor so we will be targeting it by the id by using document get element by id so we have given the id if you check we have given this id here of editor so we are simply targeting it by the id that we have given and then it takes an object so here you need to give the value the default value it takes so we will basically give this placeholder value that write your code here and uh, we will have a console log statement like hello monaco that's all this will be the value and uh, you can even provide a language as well uh, by default so this language will be javascript so in this way you can provide this and the theme as well so theme you can provide this will be by default is using vs light theme and now if you re refresh your browser if you see the console right here uh, it is saying that uh, some error has taken place vs editor main failed uh, I know I think I made a mistake right here and typo mistake so what I will do I will copy this so all the source code will be given in the description so I will paste it line this line once again so now you will see that the editor has been successfully mounted and by default you are now you can write your code like this with IntelliSense you can define a function you can see by default the syntax highlighting is done essentially it's a code, ed code editor in the browser you can write your code with the line numbers syntax highlighting and if you hover onto the function it will tell you the short little description about the function what this function returns what this function does so it's a mini vs code clone and uh, you can change this theme to dark theme so now this theme will change the dark you will see so various themes are supported so in this way you can change this theme let me stick with the vs light so after you initialize this uh, we can also define various themes in Monaco using this function define theme so we have this function where we can define a custom theme so let me define Dracula theme so we have the theme in this drop down so here we will be using the base theme which will be VS dark and we will slightly customize this by using the custom styles inheriting we will be inheriting the base styles of vs dark and we will have this rules object and uh, rules i think it's an array not an object and inside this we will have the token property and then we will can manipulate the background color and provide different colors so let me just paste this in this way you can define custom themes by inheriting the base theme as you can see vs dark and then we are providing the rules here the background foreground the comment color keyword color string color so the rest of the things you can customize them by customizing these colors so now to if if you want to use this theme you can define 
the on change event handler so whenever you change the theme by changing the select event handler you can define the event handler change so then this function will execute callback and here you can initialize the new theme which is selected by the user first of all get the value and then monaco editor dot set theme you can set the theme by using the set theme function and passing the new theme which is selected so if you now see if I change this to Dracula theme so you will see the theme will change Uh, let me just paste this code right here the full code so this is the overall uh, javascript custom javascript code you define this add event listener so if you change your theme to dracula you will see the theme will change so whatever that you have defined in this using the define theme function so we define this background to be this hexadecimal color the foreground is this you can change this as well if you want the foreground to be white so now if you change the dracula you'll actually see it will look something like this So this is actually the Monaco editor. It's an all-in-one code editor which supports various languages. So you can even write PHP code as well right here. You'll see, you can write here PHP code. So you can see how these variable colors, you can write comments. You can change this to uh, JSON. You can see that this is JSON, and uh, in the similar way, you can have CSS properties, and you will actually see IntelliSense here for all the properties that you put. You'll see. So all in one, it's a Monaco editor, it's a library where you can integrate it using IntelliSense line numbers and you can have various themes. And this is their official docs, you can check, it's developed by Microsoft, it's a browser based code editor. So thank you very much for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next one and do check my free media tools website which contains thousands of free tools related to video image and and i will be seeing you in the next one